You're such an asshole. Oh, there was once upon a time old Claire Meister was hanging out. Hang on, do I have to, like, I gotta publish this. Hang on, hang on. Parents don't love you, move on. I gotta go up with the other fucking video. Fucking fuck. Kibby's ideal society. Stop being a pussy. Job references. Gee, I build money. Did I upload all these? Ah, oh, you know what? Fuck it. Alright, let's just get this shit done. I'll cancel that and I'll upload it later. Alright. The young man writes. Here, and I apologize in advance for the length of this message. Thank you for keeping my identity anonymous. This has been a wonderful week. You guys are all telling me not to mention your names up front. First thing. 31 years old, living in a town that's a shitty town, and paralyzed with indecision regarding my professional life. Please evaluate my situation and potential game plans. Did he pay? Oh, he did. Okay. For four years, I've been teaching English as a second language and doing admissions in an international school in the town I'm in that is very shitty and crappy. I have another four years of uh, English as a second language experience acquired in China where I learned spoken Mandarin. I also speak French fluently and I'm a dual uh, United States French citizen. All right. In addition, I have been fairly active, a fairly active musician with four releases, radio play, and 100 plus shows, but ultimately a financial loss in that department. For all you music majors, pay the fuck attention. Most recently, I started a part-time MBA based on advice from family and a trusted co-worker with the idea of capitalizing on my international experience. After just a couple months, though, I'm fairly set on withdrawing from the program. Uh, this is due to my ineptitude with counting, which I'm failing, the loss of any free time, as well as my inability to connect with classmates. I'm making the right decision here correct, he asks. Uh, all, of th all of this brings me to a few game plans I have thought of. Number one, stick with my current private school job, become director of admissions in January of 2018. I love how the public sector and the educational world is like, well, at this time you'll become the director. And then when you guys get laid off, you think it's like some violation of your human rights when you're just the most spoiled, pampered fucking assholes in the world. Uh, pay would be about 42000 Again, experience with a director. We don't want better opportunities for a year or two. Downside, the guy doing the job now has advised me that it's insufferable and underpaid, which is why he's leaving. Well, okay, there you go. Two, leave to teach. English as a second language in a rich Mideast country like Oman or the United Arab Emirates. Pay would be around 48000 with housing insurance provided, <coughs> plus side income for tutoring. If for you and your downside, hard to maintain ties while always moving, and life would be boring out there. How do you know boring out there? Really? Really? Everyone I talk to out there is like, I had an Irish uh, client before, and he went out there and was like, yeah, it's for transients, but then you got to move on because there's no core to it. It's got to be a little bit fun. Three. Use my ESL uh, plus language experience to find work and settle down in France, China, or Taiwan. Pay would be around 20000 but financial burdens are lower due to socialism in France. Low cost of living and the other two options. Downside, less financial independence, security risk in France. Always be an outsider in the other two options. Which of any of these would you have me do? Thank you for your time. Okay, so I asked him, what did I ask him? I said, well, what do you want to do? And by the question, what are your life goals? Forget about it. Blah, 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 blah. He says, buy a home on a large, maybe five-acre wooded lot. Enjoy the peace and proximity to nature. Build a quality recording studio, concert space in the home. Most of you concerts there. Ever. Oh, you are a serious music. Start a family. So you want to get married. Earn enough to lay uh, 5000 exclusively for flights to see parents or brother. At least what was your... Develop multiple income streams. Okay, now you're starting to get into the, the shit like, oh, yeah, I like big-breasted, uh, titted women with red hair to come blow me every week. Be in positions if I have a world war of societal collapse. How old are you? You're 31. Ah, yeah, it's time to get serious, isn't it? Um. Okay. 
you're not going to get a house or giving your goals you're not going to get that house with the wood and the forest and everything else especially in that shitty fucking town that shitty fucking state you live in you're not going to do that in 42,000 um which leads me to you trap option one and option two you say go to a Mideast country, and then you say go to a non Mideast country, France, China, or Taiwan. Uh, ba, 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 ba. It's number two and number three. Uh, the reason why I say that is I, I don't see a different progression wise. Uh, either are going to provide you a very unique experience. I'd say maybe the Middle East, just because it's a little more exotic, and I think the pay is a little bit better. Um, but there's nothing wrong with going to France, China, or Taiwan uh, and teach English, English as a. Here, here's your real problem, dude. Um, English as a second language is not a real profession. You know that. Don't don't fucking lie to me. Don't uh, don't don't act offended. You know as well as I do, it's not a real profession. I mean, you could go overseas and make some money, good money. Nothing wrong with that. So in that regard, it is a profession. But you're not going to make the money to buy a house and uh, you know have a family. I think your chances of meeting a woman that loves you and is very interesting is better with you traveling around and doing your own thing. I'm always for the, I, look, uh, everyone thinks like, uh, you know, find a wife. Once you start looking for a wife, you won't find her. So I think you going and traveling around the Mideast and, and you know, China, for, whatever. I, I don't discriminate between the two because they look uh, equally opportunistic. Um, but you're going to find a wife. You know, your chances of finding a true love is better doing that, I don't think. And you're 31, which is like, yeah, maybe you should grow the fuck up, but you are growing up. you got a house you're paying for. you got dual French U.S. citizenship. Ah, you got French citizenship. That throws a... That throws a... Yeah. Look, he, he, here's what I would do. Um... Go either to the Middle East and teach, or go to France and Europe or China or Taiwan. I, I, I really, it's the drawing of the line. You're probably likely going to find a wife material girl in China or Taiwan or in the Middle East. But then you get to worry about all that other shit that comes with women who are from third and second world countries. Like, you have to support my family. Immigrate them all here. Oh, we're just, oh, fuck you, my husband. I've, I've seen it a million times before where it's like, oh, Miss, you know, Schmoopsy poo. Um, all of a sudden, her family's there and like, fuck you. We're gonna yeah. So they're just using you as an American. Uh, yeah. Go to the Mid East and teach. I say do the Mid East. Well, it's not like you're committed to that. Like what you do for a year and then go go teach over in a. But I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this. The the current job yet director of admissions. Yeah, fuck that bullshit. Forty thousand a year. I know, and I'm I'm being deadly serious. Girls make $20 an hour babysitting. You can make that much as a babysitter if we were to prorate that at a full-time, you know, hours. Uh, no. No, I would not. And, and that guy's leaving, so fuck that. You don't want anything to do with that. You could negotiate and say, yeah, well, you're going to pay me like $70,000 a year. You could, like, hardball him with option number one. But no, I think option number two and option number three are your best options. Um... And I wish I could say, oh, yes, definitely do this, but don't do that. I, I don't know the difference between France, Taiwan, or China, or the United Arab Emirates. I, I would be kind of curious to check out the Arabian Peninsula. That sounds a little bit interesting. I always want to visit the, you know, Abu Dhabi. Uh, but when that gets tiring, then you just go to France or China or Taiwan. Uh, the minute you can practice your music... Yeah, get the fuck out of Philly, dude. Fuck that bullshit. Fuck that. Which of Yeah, option two and three. And I wish I could say, like, oh, yeah, definitely that, but I, I, I don't have a specific answer because I don't know the knowledge. I've never been to those. Well, I've been to France. It was all right. I, I like France. I was surprised that, like, you know, I was just kind of like, oh, it's a bunch of French people. Hey, how you doing? Bonjour. 
senior. Um, I just think I, I, yeah, at 31, you're still young. I'd like to check out the United Arab Emirates and Oman. That'd be different. I mean, you have to do All right, look. Here's what you got to do. You got to do number two. Go, go check out the Middle East. Just to say you did it. France, China, Taiwan, there will always be there. The French will be socialist pussies. China will be like, oh, look, oh, we have 1.8 billion people now. Oh, fuck, global warming and population shit. Taiwan's like, fuck you, China, we're not you. They'll be there. They'll be there. The United States is sending our kid destroyer submarines. We'll be like, yeah, fuck you. It is Taiwan, not China. So, All right, that's it. I wish I had a better answer. I, I don't, but uh, definitely don't do number one. So, All right, we'll see you guys later. Toodles.